Welcome to Excel at Data Mining. My name is Billy Decker. I'm a business intelligence consultant that works for StatSlice, a consulting firm based out of Dallas, Texas. Today we're going to look at how to create and read a lift chart in less than five minutes using the data mining add-in tool for Excel. So we're going to start off with our data mining add-in sample data here. And what I've already done here is I've actually already created a logistics regression model based upon this source data tab. So we're going to come up here and we're going to start the accuracy chart um, wizard. Um, accuracy chart here is, base, is the same um, term, means the same thing as lift chart. So we come here and we click next and we go ahead and select our model and we have a mining column to predict. We're going to leave that on bike buyer and value to predict. We're going to leave that at yes as opposed to no. And then we're just going to use the test data from the model. So that's really how quick and easy it is to actually create a lip chart. So let's um, talk a little bit about how to read one. But to make it a little bit clearer, I actually want to change my axes here. I want to change the Y axis to sales percentage. And I want to change uh, the X axis to total leads percentage. So the way to think about this is, is that we have a whole bunch of leads and what this graph is going to tell us is it's going to tell us how our model actually performs when we start contacting more of these leads, how many more of the sales within those leads are we going to be able to contact because the, the way we're thinking about it is, is that we have a whole huge bucket of leads and within, those, within that bucket of leads there's going to be um, special leads that are going to actually lead to sales. You can think of it as a bunch of tickets and there's golden tickets in there. And we want to find a way to be able to uh, get as many of the golden tickets out as possible with the least amount of actual effort. So the first thing we notice on here is that there's actually three lines. Um, the first one we're going to look at is a blue line. What that represents is the no model line. Or it's basically saying, okay, well, we've got this whole bucket of tickets, and we're just going to pick tick or bucket, or we're going to pick the tickets randomly out, and then we're just going to hope that we get a golden ticket. And if we do that, we would expect, okay, if we take out 10% of the tickets, we should get about 10% of the sales, right? If we uh, pick out about 50% of the tickets, we should get about half of our total golden tickets that are within the actual bucket, right? So. The next line we need to look at here is the red line, which represents our ideal model. Now what this says is that we have some sort of magic ability, maybe by, you know, we, um, we know exactly how a golden ticket feels on our fingers, so that when we root around in the bucket, we can, every single lead that we draw out of the bucket is a golden ticket. It's a sale, right? So we can see that here because this red line rockets all the way to 100% of sales when we only have to contact maybe about 12% of our total leads. Now the important thing to take away from these two lines is not so much where they come from, although it's not very complicated, it's the fact that they section off an area of our chart here. And what this area represents is where our actual model is going to perform. Like, we wouldn't expect our model to be worse than randomly selecting tickets from the bucket, and we certainly can't expect our model to actually outperform and somehow turn non-golden tickets into golden tickets. So then what we have here is this green line represents our um, logistic regression model. And so as we follow it along here, we see that when we contact 10% of, of when we basically using this model and we draw 10% of our tickets from the bucket, we can get about 23 or 24% of our total golden tickets. So that's really awesome, right? Because originally, with just randomly doing it, we only got about 10%. And so we can see this as we come along here. Um, if we pick out 40%, we have a little bit above 60%. So it's, it's, about a, it's about 20 points higher, so it's performing really well. But as we go to the right further and further here, we notice kind of diminishing returns as we're contacting more and more of our leads, it's not shooting up nearly as high to the point that in order to get all of our sales, we'd have to contact still about 98% of our total leads. And so that is how to create and actually read a lift chart. Um, thank you for watching.